Okay, Sunday morning, normal Sunday boot fair today. Fingers crossed I'm going to pick up some goodies. I'm back at my normal kind of boot fair today, which is Hook Road Arena. It's uh, quarter to six and I'm waiting in a queue of traffic. Um, I don't think they open the gates till around about six or six thirty. So uh, I've got a little bit of a wait, but uh, hopefully it'll be worth it. I'm not planning on being out too long today because I've got a few other things to do and um, I think the rain might have put a few people off. It was raining kind of yesterday during the day. So um, we'll see how we go. Here's the queue of traffic waiting to get in. I don't know if this car in front is a seller, but they're selling loads of underlay. Underlay, underlay! I don't know who would buy that. I suppose someone would if they're doing their carpet up. But yeah, it's just round that roundabout on the left. That's where the entrance is, so uh, hopefully not too long to wait. There's a guy behind me in the queue. Oh, there's a squirrel there. Action pack. There's a guy behind me in the queues, just whacked up the Bob Marley at 10 to 6 in the morning, and I think he's about to spark up a bifter. It's 10 to 6, for God's sake. Crazy. Oh well. Bit of reggae to get the day going. Didn't do any filming at the booth here today, but I'm going to very quickly take you through what I've got because I've um, got a bit of a busy day today, so this is whipping through it. Uh, the two Roberts radios were a five at each, which is kind of like top end of what I want to pay, really. I normally hope to pick them up for a couple of quid, but they had the instructions, so um, that's okay. Uh, the shape sort of was 50p. I didn't check whether it's got all the bits, but I've got spares for this. Probably around a tenner. It's a Tupperware vintage shape sorter, so kind of vintagey kind of toy. Uh, ball game wrist, good condition. That was three quid. And uh, this Monopoly Empire was three quid. I got the, the two of them for a fiver. Has got the things. I've got loads of spares for this Monopoly Empire, so it should be all right if it's missing the odd bit. Um, but hopefully it's complete. And then another risk. Um, it got some sort of mark on it, so I ended up getting that for two quid. Uh, the Rummy Cub was two quid. Um, that always goes quite well. Uh, the vintage, another vintage frustration. I've got one of these already on, which has got very bad sort of box. Um, but this one's complete. It's got a little rip on the edge, but that'll be all right. Uh, so that was two quid. I'll probably flip to about 15 or so. Um, and a vintage Connect 4. I think what I'm going to do with um, a lot, I'm going to get a batch of these board games. I'm going to send them up to Amazon. So um, that might be a video. Um, that is upcoming because um, I've got barely anything at Amazon at the moment and I'm aware I do need to make a, a sort of sales threshold in order to be able to sell over quarter four so um, I better sort of get my arse in gear basically and um, get some sales on Amazon. Got a nice um, pair of curtains these are ring tops got a nice design on them I don't know if they're a particular um, brand I didn't look at that but they're, they're lined. Um, Indie Chick got me into curtains. She does a lot of curtains. Um, I picked these up for four quid. So, I mean, hopefully flip for maybe 25. Um, yeah, Indie Chick. She's uh, started reselling about the same time as me. She has a great yoga channel, which is Mind Body Calm Yoga. And if I'm clever enough, I will try and put a little uh, link in one of the corners but if you are a little bit stressed out and want to take 20 minutes just doing... She does sit-down ones for the shoulders. Um, thoroughly recommend it um, if you just fancy doing a little bit of exercise. Well worth it. Um, right, down here, back to reselling. Um, PS3, uh, I think it's called a Slim. I've never had one of these before. Sold quite a few of the fats. Um, this was 20 quid. Um, broke one in 25. Um, well, it was all right to pay... 20 because he had the three controllers and hopefully they'll all work um power lead usb cable for the controllers um i imagine these will, will get big between 10 and 15 each anyway so um yeah be checking that one out in a few days see if it works uh this is a new one on me uh crash helmets i do see crash helmets quite a lot of boot fairs um and don't buy them because it's the whole thing of if they've been in a crash then it does um you know, uh, not make them as strong. It's a bit like child seats. You, uh, 
they're not supposed to be sold second hand but these were new and um yeah it looks all right uh let me get one out the bloke said he'd bought 50 and these were like the dregs and they're the dregs because the actual size of them is extra small um which you know extra small in anything would take a while but um i thought i'd give it a go um you know it could be a kid or maybe a small headed person a pinhead um so we'll see how that goes they were 33 for the two so um i think he wanted 20 each originally and that's that's the best he could do on them 33. um i imagine i'm going to put them on at 35 each so um double my money or just over double my money uh, plus the postage on top so it'd be interesting to see how that goes i think new to buy them would be about 70. so i might go 40 i don't know um have a think about it but yeah um try it out and see what it does uh, another ball game logo ball game that would definitely be an amazon job um i tend to sort of like save up all the ones the same size so you get like scenics of this size you get kind of it's generally two sizes of kind of ball game you get these days um so that was three quid it was i tried to get it for two but then the woman said this is uh a charity stall for cats so um i'm all right paying three quid for that i imagine it will go 15 20 on amazon um and elephant again is an amazon flip uh that was bought for 50p and i've got spares um for that should i need it it's like butterflies and stuff um but i've got Faye and simon to thank for that f and f and s resellers with underscores f and s between the f and the and and the s uh do check out their channel they are very very good at amazon which i will be needing because i've got a lot of stuff for amazon like i say we'll do a video on it um this next little lot so the escape from cold it's i've never had that before again it's sort of like a bit of a bolo i guess um but i got this off a bloke called johnny who always sells up at hook and a, I mean, I was buying from him when I first went full time with reselling. Um, he bought a load of games and tried to get a deal, and um, he's always got good stuff. Um, he, do, he does eBay as well, so he just sort of like sells bits of surplus. So there's that um, Harry Potter Cluedo, um, which I didn't check whether it was complete because I kind of like, you know, e even if it's not, even if it's missing some bits, I've got some uh, or one already that for spares i don't expect that to be complete the scene it i did check and that um wasn't complete so that's a cinematic version so if that had been complete that's worth quite a bit of money but you know i'll i'll just spare that out and the casper off i checked the if all the pieces were there and they are um so that's that would be a good price for that electronic chess so um the this and this so i'm expecting to i can sell that i can expect Expecting to sell to Kasparov, these two go for spares and the cold hits. All of that costs 20 quid. Um, and basically, he wanted a tenner for that and he was saying a fiver for that. So, yeah, I mean, it's a good price, really, just to try it out. I just want to try out this, really, because I've never had it. Um, so, and there's a spare board as well. So, that's a little bit of a Brucey bonus in there. So, um, yeah, I'm, I mean, like I say, I'm just sort of getting stuff bought at the moment. Um, there you go. Um, my wife said the other day when I'm doing these hauls, I look like a Smurf because I've got blue hands. But yeah, I've I've literally come straight in from uh, back from the boot fair and I'm going through it. Right, I've got one. I've got the granny trolley to empty and then I'm done. Rupert the bear annuals and a Wombles annual. I probably wouldn't recommend getting a Wombles annual, but I have got another one, so I might try and bundle it. And the Rupert's only going bundles as well. Uh, bundles of three or four might get you around twenty quid. So I picked up these four books for 50p each, so two quid. Um, I've got a pair of, I can find the other one. It's a pair of gloves, basically, and they're both like this. Both a pair, not odd ones. Um, that was a pound. Let me dig out the other one. Yeah, a pair of um, motorcycle gloves, Sinsulate. Um They're a pound. I don't know if they do well. I don't think they're particularly great. Um, DVD of Brum, so that might not be readily available in a sort of kids TV programme from about 20 years ago, which was quite popular. Um, that was 50p. Um, a Sony Walkman, uh, batteries have um, leaked all over it, uh, but I think that was a pound. 
Um, these two games, that one's obviously come from Amazon at some point. That one's sealed. This one is is sealed, but the seal's gone. In seller tapes, uh, they were a fiver for the two. And again, Amazon, I think. Um, and then I've got a whole load of big box um, computer games. Not brilliant, not great ones at all. And the guy who actually sold it to me said, yeah, I bought that for a tenner, hoping it'd be good, but it wasn't that good. So he didn't really sell it to me. Um, but I bought all of them. So what have we got here? Yeah, they're all sort of flight simulators and all this big five-inch disc stuff. There's a, there's a go-karting game and there's Bruce Lee and I, I kind of remember the these two games from spectrum days um it looks like it is it us gold yeah us gold um oh from statacom <laughs> i know that shop it's in chain village um and i got them off him for nine so he paid 10 originally and then just got them off him so you know we said oh there's a few more here you know all this big box stuff no idea that's yeah a driving test oh no it is a game by looks of it. I thought it was a driving test helper thing but yeah so that lot was a tenner uh sorry it was nine um an adidas chili 62 tracky top that was a quid uh, it's kind of like standard sort of buy for me a pasta maker in the box imperia i will pay up to a fiver for these and i paid a fiver for that and hope to sell it for 20 to 25. So there you go, I've got to get busy packing now because I've got some um, orders going out, uh, get that done. So busy, busy, busy. Uh, like I say, probably I will do a video on Amazon and how to do, like if you're thinking about Amazon or you know, yeah, you want to do it, first thing I would say is get a box, uh, get a uh, maybe a 60 by 60 by 40 box uh, double walled and start filling it with board games. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll do that later on in the week. I uh, hope you've been getting some good stuff. Uh, take care and I'll see you soon.